Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show you a super duper easy Christmas tumbler for beginners. For this tumbler, this is a 30 ounce skinny straight Courtney's Customs blank. It is actually a sublimation tumbler that I messed up so I spray painted over it. This is Cranberry um, from Rust-Oleum. The glitters I'm using, this is Ruby Slippers from Maker Flow Crafts and then I'm combining Mistletoe and Desert Glow, both chunky mixes from the Glitter Grind. Um, what I did was just added some of the gold into the Christmas mix here, just until I thought it looked pretty, stirred it up, and now it's just got like a hint of gold in there. So it's going to be a super simple ombre with a cute little decal whenever it's ready for that. So here we go. First things first, I'm going to cover the entire tumbler with Mod Podge, and this is just a makeup brush. Um, you can find them at, you know, the dollar store, Amazon, Walmart, wherever, but I'll make sure to put links in the description. Now I'm actually going to start with the chunky mix first. So I'm going to come down here at the bottom and just cover like an inch or so and then tilt my tumbler and just gently tap until the glitter lightly falls onto the cup and the more you have it tilted the more that is going to naturally kind of fall down and create an ombre and I really think adding that gold into that made it super pretty too. So let me get the bottom covered here and there we go. Next it's time to add the ruby slippers. So same thing just from the top covering about an inch or two, tilting and then letting it fall. And like I do with every chunky mix, you want to go down while the Mod Podge is still wet and just very gently tap some pieces that are sticking up with your finger because if you just kind of leave it how it is and you spray seal it and you go to epoxy it, that's going to epoxy sticking straight up. It's going to be super, super rough and we don't want that because then you'll be sanding like crazy and adding more epoxy than you really need to. It just gives you a lot more work. So once you see that everything is laying down good and flat, you wanna take it outside and spray it with two times Rust-Oleum Clear or whatever clear sealant that you choose. Rust-Oleum is just my favorite. And then once that dries, I'm gonna pop it on my turner back here from Made My Cups and add a layer of epoxy. Come back tomorrow and let's do a decal. All right, so it's the next day. It does look really super cute, but chunky glitter even if you do you know press it down it is still pretty rough after just one coat of epoxy this up here feels nice and smooth so what I'm gonna do is take this sanding block from Amazon um, I'll put a link in the description they come in a pack of four and I'm just gonna sand this entire tumbler even up here um, just pay more special attention down here and get everything nice and smooth <music> Now I'm going to take some 91% rubbing alcohol on a piece of a paper towel and just wipe all of that epoxy dust off of the tumbler. Make sure it's nice and clean before we put it on for more epoxy. But since this is so good and smooth up here, I'm going to go ahead and add a decal. 
So look at this super cute, just simple, but really, really cute decal I got from Creative Fabrica. Um, I'm going to put a link down in the description for Creative Fabrica if you guys have not heard me talk about it before. Um, it's pretty much like this subscription-based website. They have thousands and thousands of images and fonts and backgrounds and really everything that you need. Um, and everything has commercial free license. There's free downloads. You just pay the monthly fee. And with my link, you guys will get your first month for a dollar. And I'm really, really trying to use this piece of transfer tape until I just can't use it no more. <laughs> I think I'm to that point because, shoo, I'm going to have to throw it away after this one. Okay, so that piece of transfer tape was, <laughs> it was on its last leg, not working. So here's a new one. And I know I should have this down on my Cricut mat, but I've got a brand new Cricut mat and I just put the plastic back over it and put it away so I don't want to get it back out again. <laughs> there we go. So this little cradle, I get a lot of questions about it. This is a cup cradle from Bama Cups. Um, same place that I get my cup turner, so I'll make sure to have a link down in the description. I am just going to get this decal on. I love this textured gold vinyl too. It's from Amazon. I'll make sure to have a link in the description for that. But I just think it's so pretty and it just reminds me of Christmas. And with the slight gold down here in this glitter that I mixed, I think gold was the perfect choice for this decal. There we go. So now that the decal is on, I'm going to pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups put two more coats of epoxy over it. I use KS resin. I also have a link for that down in the description and I will come back to show you guys the finished result. So here we are after some epoxy and I just think it is so pretty and simple and elegant and I absolutely love it. I'm actually going to take this I think to my vendor event. I have one coming up. I'm trying so hard to make tumblers for vendor event and website. It's like whoo it's a lot but look how cute. Before I go, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, Staying positive does not mean everything will turn out okay. Rather, it means you will be okay no matter how things turn out. That unfortunately has an unknown author. That's all I have for you guys today. Let me know what you think. If y'all have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!